This is a commercial break. Um, it's usually when we set things up. Um, or like I go take a piss or, you know, or whatnot. But yeah, no, we'll get... Uh, you can see me on the other screen. So look at me looking at you. So we, we got to set up so you can look at the, um, the chat here. Admiral Pizza Live! Yeah! Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. You guys are truly great. Truly great. Super cool that you joined us all. Tonight on this wonderful episode of Admiral Pizza Live, today's episode is very special because we're going to read Mr. Vandren's comic, Rooted Together. On its one-year anniversary, so let's give another shout-out for its one-year anniversary. Yeah, thank you. Let's go pizza for one-year audience. One year of making a, a, a comic. 
So yeah, the pizza for the comic celebration pizza party. Stay tuned. C- come to the show after the show, and uh, there'll be some pizza available. So uh, yeah, you know I don't think we should uh, waste much time here. I think let's uh, begin on the comment here. Oh, here we go. Got some more uh, comments here. Let's read them really quick. It says, uh, hello. Well, thank you for joining us. Super cool that you're joining us tonight. Truly appreciate it. All right, so let's begin. Rooted Together. Rooted Up. Rooted Together, Issue 1. May 21st, 2021. Copyright. M.M. Okay, so then he's got him running around in the woods here. A little bit of a clear. Hey, look, can you close the uh, door? I think it's creating too much sunlight. We live in the darkness here. You know, because we're banging. Oh, yeah, the top panel. You can breathe no, it's just the light, I guess. Well, here, I think um, perhaps during the next... The monitor here, yeah, here. Just one second, we're going to go dim the monitor. Let's see if that does anything. I'll have to climb over everything. Okay, the brightness set up way too high. Better? Uh, it's all lower. Lower. This is as low as it can go. Okay, so that's as low as it can go. Okay. We got all set up, so just thank you for standing by with all the technical difficulties. Let's keep on reading here. So we got our, um, assume it's our protagonist here running through the woods. And. Mm, something appears, some sort of peach bud pod. Character sees it, and of course they're done. They have to touch it and prick it, and they bleed. And to me, that didn't seem like a very good idea to do that. It's a good idea. <laughs> My wife says it's a great idea. Oh, you know what that just reminds me of? Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, Seymour! Feed me! <laughs> and there's a, a gigantic peachy butt. Yeah. Yeah, Curious Minds are the greatest ones, yeah, I guess. That sounds like an apt quote. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so then um, this pod is opening. And a cute chick comes out. Damn, a lady. And I see people are posting comments. Um, we'll take a comment break every uh, chapter, and we'll read over um, everyone's comments. And okay, so yeah, then we get some color here. And then oh, the plant. It his blood makes the plant lady come to life. Feed me, Simo. Feed me. Look, lady, I want to give you my DNA. So, I mean, maybe we can arrange this. Okay. Uh, Johnny Bravo. Yeah, okay. Johnny Bravo would be so into this. <laughs> okay, anyway. And then, uh... She's like, ooh, look, I love you, I like you. And that's how she came living in the barn. And then... Okay. It's kind of weird. You know, it reminds me of uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles, whatever, where... Um, John Connor has that summer glow robot that hangs out with him at school and protects him. And, yeah. It's like, I need my summer glow bot. And it's like, well, I don't know. John Connor just spent a lot of time in his room up alone with this new summer glow robot. Okay, anyway. So then I assume this is his father character. Boy, stop bringing the stray trash into the barn. Oh, so he does this often. He brings in the trash into the yard, (laughs) quote-unquote. Okay, all right. And, hello. Thanks for reading this little comic. 
Originally, this comic was going to be in the style of a traditional comic, but I decided that I wanted it to be more like a do-it-yourself signs and sketchy comics I made in high school. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was, it was good. A little rough around the edges, but um, there's a creative choice behind it. Let's go to the next page here. Let's go take a little comment break and read some of the comments you guys posted. Here it says, cool. Woo, hello. I'm starting to wish I didn't take my mother out on dinner date because I wouldn't have gotten pizza for this instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, definitely uh, next broadcast, um, get your pizza ready. Here we go. Rooted Together is known for its peach bud pod. Also, that was a great little shop of horrors impression. Why, thank you. And I appreciate everyone joining us on Admiral Pizza Live. And a reminder, on Admiral Pizza Live, you, my friends, are the real star of the show. So, it's for you guys. You guys rock. You guys are totally awesome. Okay, back to the comic. Episode two, House of the Rising, House of the Rising Rose, rooted together, Chapter Two, Issue Two, May twenty eighth, twenty twenty one. A better time or worse time? No, twenty twenty one was pretty lame. I didn't like twenty twenty one. That's almost worse than twenty twenty two. But here, so the pod gets a little bigger. Pod gets a little too big for its britches, if you know what I mean. Okay. <coughs> Hey, darling, my dearest, would, we, would you be so kind to get me something to drink? I would truly appreciate it. Here, let's give a, a shout out to my wife, who's the greatest. Um, why not? Why not? Something to wet my whistle here, because uh, this reading makes you a lot uh, more parched than you think. House of the Rising Rose. Oh, you can hardly even read it on my monitor. But I'm reading it for you. So this is great. Okay. Say, Viv, what's wrong? F food. Here, a PBJ sandwich always perks me up. You call that food, mortal? Feed me something more adequate. Damn, bitch. You needy. All right. You shouldn't look a given horse into the mouth. But... You would just kill the given horse. I'll go look. Cheese? Nope. Fruit? Wrong. Salami? No cigar. Damn, bitch. That's, you got cheese and salami and banana. That's like practically a pizza there. And that won't satisfy her? Okay. Come on, mortal. Don't you have anything more lively? That meat bag of dust may even be sufficient now. Watch it, you overgrown dandelion! All right, Viv. I'll take a look a bit further. Don't come back with empty hands! And she looks out in the distance. And she sees sheep. Delicious, delicious sheep. Lamb chops. Ah, okay. Hey, Viv. I found this old cooking book. Maybe we can... Holy casserole! Viv, what have you eaten? Oh, just some rare steak. Lamb steak. Yeah, damn. That bitch is, uh, needy. And she's gotten big. I like him big. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, excellent. Ten minutes later. No, Barb. I genuinely have no idea where your stupid sheep went. And to be honest, I really don't care. And, artist note. A movie you should watch, The Snow Queen, the 1950s Soviet adaptation of one of the Hans Christian Andersen's classic fairy tales, a wonderful movie with great art and stellar animation. You know what? Shit. Let's check out. We can see and see if we can find a clip of that. Mm. Ah, yeah. Let's take a little drinking break here. Ah, some cucumber water. Yeah, let's take a little comment break. Apple juice. Apple juice? Okay, yeah, that's what you, oh, we had, um... So, wait, this is what I did. Okay. I used some Bacardi. Okay, so we got Bacardi. And then I put in a little bit of red Gatorade powder. 
Gatorade. Okay, red Gatorade. The alcohol with the Gatorade powder. All right. And then I poured apple juice, and then yeah. I added some of my cucumber lemon water, and then I poured more apple juice. Okay. Utah, Utah Bay. So we're going to find YouTube. Okay, what's the movie that we're looking for? Snow Queen, 1957? Yeah, it's really good. You can hardly taste the cucumber. Yeah, I didn't pour too much because I know you don't really like Snow Queen. Cucumber water. 57. Here we go. All right. We'll go check out a trailer of that. Per Mr. Vandren's recommendation. So, no, I want to find the video. Yeah, Utah Bay. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the video thing that I want. Here, we'll do a little comment break. Here we go. Oh. That's a whole character bond right there. Vor. Hashtag Vor. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. All right. Snow Queen, 1957. Let's see if we can find a little trailer really quick. Snow Queen, the one from your childhood. I, what I don't remember watching that when I was a kid. You got like a trailer for me here? Here's Snow Queen. Queen trailer? Here we go. We're looking that up here really quick. Ice splinters. Okay, trailer here. Okay, here we go. We got a trailer. It's about two minutes long. Here, we go. that's the ticket here. All right, let's sit back and uh, watch the trailer. See, I've been wanting to do this for a while. On our repeats alive and get uh, clips. All right, here we go. I can hardly even see it. It's really dark. Oh, here we go. That's just, I think it's as good as it's going to get. Okay, I think this is the extreme zoom mode. It's kind of... Here we go, yeah. All right. Comedy film? It looks fucking terrifying. There, finally. She's absolutely dazzling. Yeah, she was pretty dazzling. As you can see, there's other incarnations of Snow Queen. All right. So, um, there is your introduction to Snow Queen for uh, Mr. Uh, Vandren's recommendation. Here we go. Got some comments. Here we go. Animal Pizza is scared of a comedy movie. What the f 
I said it looks terrifying. Why won't you shut up? You have to pay me money now for being on my show. That's how it works. Hey, damn it. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to the show. All right. All right. So, yes, if you, you happen to... I don't even know if you're allowed to do this. Like, can you get in trouble for streaming things on YouTube on the PlayStation camera through dreams? Is that... Am I breaking? Like I don't even know. Whatever. So here, Admiral Pizza Line, we blur the lines le- legally and morally. So here we go. All right, let's back to reading our comic. All right. So this fat needy bitch eats a whole like three she- sheep's. All right. So yeah. Here we go. All right. Ten minutes later. All right. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Right. And Snow Queen. Yes. The movie you should watch is the Snow Queen. <laughs> And we just watched the trailer to that, and that was amazing. They were able to do that on Advil Pizza Live. So, yeah, let's go to the next next chapter. Chapter 3. She be- blinded me with biology. That Like that song, uh, um, Weird Science... Weird science. Weird science. Okay. Alright. She blinded me with biology. Psychobiology. Here we go. Hey, Vivian. What is it, mortal? Can you help me learn from my biology test? Biology test? Oh, that's a, that's a classic one. Oh, can you help me study with first in anatomy? All right, here we go. Yes, Mrs. Feldman has an entire test on her, on the tax. Here we go. Yeah, Mrs. Feldman has an entire test on the taxi. Tax, taxino, tax. You mean the taxonomic rank? Yeah, that one. I tried to, I tried, I tried to ask, I tried to ask Gramps to help, but the old man said you may know it better than he can. For once, the old meatbag knows his place. Count mortal. Count yourself lucky, mortal. For I, the oh-so-wise Alarun, shall educate you properly. Okay. All right, yeah, I could do a little bit of education. I don't know. I personally like him a little bit more chunky. What happened to all that sheep shade earlier? Hmm? But, yeah. It's a little, okay, I could work with that. All right, let's back to reading comic. Here we go. Really? Thanks, Viv. Ahem. No need for such thing as a thanks. Hmm. Because perhaps she has some other currency of thanking her. Okay, anyway. All right, let's explain the rank first. Life, domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. There are quite some levels in the rank. But for the test, let's stick to these. Okay. There are two types of lives. Think of viruses like the flu and the rest of all living stuff. Okay. So stuff like viruses don't have souls. Cellular things have souls. Okay. Below life is the domain level. There are three domains. Bacteria, archaea, and then there's eukaryota. The difference is visible on a cellular level. Yucca area is the only domain with a cell nucleus. Domains, bacteria, archaea, eukarya. Okay, I've heard of bacteria. and ar- I've never heard of archaea or eukarya. So, who would have ever thought on Animal Pizza Live, I would actually be learning something. So, color me surprised. Then we have the kingdoms. Okay, we got bacteria, archaea, animals, fungi, protists, and plants. Bacteria, archaea, and protists are often unicellular cellular, or single-celled, but the protists have a nucleus, making them a part of the eukarya domain. Okay, so some things have uh, eukarya. Bac- bacteria don't got nucleus. Eukarya got nucleus. So... The three other eukaryotic kingdoms are multicellular. 
So euchar eukaryotes are more complicated, like plant cells, animal cells, um, fungi. So like uh, uh, plankton from SpongeBob would be a eukaryotic animal. Okay. So I'm not even like really trying too hard to pronounce these correctly. Here we go. The biggest difference between plant, animal, and fungus kingdom is what they eat. Plants can only produce their food internally through photosynthesis. Animals and fungi both take in food from external sources, but animals can also move. Hey Viv, quick question. What is it? Are you an animal or a plant? P -p Pardon? Well, why would that interest you? Well, uh, I think it will interest, honestly, to be fair, interests quite a lot of us. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> you clearly have roots, leaves, and flowers, a characteristic of a plant. But at the same time, you only eat meat and other food like an animal does. So, Viv... Are you an animal or a plant? She's a man-eater! <laughs> okay. Absurd. Clearly, uh... Animal, plant, animal, plant? What, uh, what... What am I? What am I fighting for? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm an animal plant. Animal, plant, plant... Animal, plant, animal, plant, plant, animal. Gee, only asked her if she's an animal or a plant. If I have to be honest, she's more like a nasty mole that doesn't go away. See, this guy fucks. He just doesn't give a shit. He's, like, gotten laid so many times. I can say whatever I want on my show. I don't know. And if you are one of my students at my school and you're watching me, yeah, don't. don't. Go, go outside and touch grass. It's summertime. Go ride your bike. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I ain't no role model. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Am I? Well, not on this show. All right, here we go. Here are the Sonics, a pure rock and roll album, punk before punk. The album may be filled with just 13 original songs, but they absolutely did their best blasting me away. And the covers of RGB rock and roll legends are Chuck Berry and R Richard Berry are just as psych psychotic. If you're a fan of loud, loud, raw, fuzzy, and psyched out 1960s garage rock and proto-punk, then Here Are the Sonics is an album you should hear out. Favorite song, The Witch. Here, let's, uh, you all want to take a little break and uh, check the song out here? I mean, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. And then YouTube ads, we'll have to pay more, um... YouTube will have to pay me money to be on on my show, because that is pr I'm pretty confident how that, that's how all that works. Advertisers, um, Pizza Hut, you guys got to send me uh, promotional things like uh, keychains, rings, coupons, <sighs> yeah, punch frogs, pug paste. Delicious, delicious pug paste. Okay, so what was the... I can't even remember the thing we're looking at. Here we go. Here we go. The, uh, what were these guys called again? The Sonics. Okay. The Sonics. The Sonics Witch. Okay, so this is the song that this person recommends, which it's about two minutes long. We'll listen to about, um, oh, okay, look, YouTube TV, got clips. YouTube owes me money. Oh, NBA owes me money. NBC, oh, oh, I didn't, I, you guys advertising on my show now. You guys owe me so much money. Okay.
Mm, let's check out some of these comments people are posting. We'll listen to the music. There you go. Chat from the viewer. Huh? Lol. First time from viewer. Oh, yeah. Thank you for uh, joining us. Alright, so yeah. Pretty awesome jams. Pretty awesome jams. Okay. Hey, maybe we can listen to it while we read the comic. Is this what Vandro likes, huh? Huh, man. Admiral, go rock out. Yeah. Alright, here. Let's keep reading this comic. Alright, here we go. The biggest difference between the plant, animal, and fungus kingdom is the way they eat. Plants can only produce their food internally through photosynthesis. Uh, okay, awesome. We've listened to a little bit of that while we uh, read comic. And I'll pause there so YouTube won't owe me any more money. Cause I'm 100% confident that's how that works. All right. Biggest difference between the plant and animal and fungus kingdom is the what they eat. Uh, hey Viv, quick question: Are you an animal or plant? Part of okay, yeah, we went through all this. The Sonics, okay, yeah, okay. That's like that. We like it very much. I like it a lot. Here, next chapter is episode four. Can you guys read that? Where's it all? Or oh, here, like, let me do full. Yeah, no, it's not coming in very good. Right. Okay, it's a little this color doesn't come in very good. I don't. I have to adjust the contrast. But this is a hand holding a balloon. And it says "Rooted Together" presents. Oh, here we go. It's also very kind of like a uh, uh, bloomy. Night of the Flowery Dead. And then there's like a sun. Here's a house and then there's the moon right here. And there's a grandpa character. Peace and quiet. No hyperactive kids. No walking weeds. No peace and quiet. No young, attractive women trying to get into my britches when I just want to play my anime and video games. So I can then over time I had my two wives and then they're like, oh, he's like, Gertrude, make out with me. He's like, oh, make out with me. And I was like, women, shut up. I'm trying to play my video games. Why don't you just make out with each other? Okay, anyway. All right. Crash. Splat. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> oh, God. And he grabs a shotgun. <gasps> Bang! Kabang! Bam, motherfucker! Bam! 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 All right. <laughs> Motherfucker's dead! He did! He did as hell! Oh, yeah! Crash! Oh, shit! I don't know what the fuck that is. There goes my peace and quiet. Five hours ago. Hey, Vivian. What now? Are you sure using your pollen to revive my pet rabbit is ethically responsible? Hmm, that's a very good question. Who gives a shit? What now? Mortal, I generally don't care about your flimsy morals. And Artist page. Interesting series to watch. Recorded by me. Mission Hill. Okay, Mission Hill was a good, uh, good show. Duckman. I like Duckman. Um... Lenore, cute little dead girl. Okay, I've never watched that one. 
The animated adaptation of Roman Dirge's comic, while not the greatest, is still a fun, cute little and twisted miniseries. And Ugly Americans, a fun, underrated 2010 show about a AU New York, alternate universe New York filled with demons, monsters, and zombies. Yeah, that was a really great show. I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, good. Here, let's take a little comment break. <laughs> Hit the sauce a little too hard, Admiral. Oh no, not not even yet. We haven't even haven't even begun. See, I just I just merely tapped the sauce when it comes to uh, hitting it. Okay. All right, so let's go read our uh, next chapter here. Here we go. Rooted together. Full screen activate mode. Go. Oh, it was already full screen. We made it unfull screened. Rooted together. The buds of friendship. Issue five, June eight. Okay, it's like a little kid wrote it, or um, very untalented adult. Okay, here we go. Justin, Justin, where are you? I have a present for you. Justin, hello? Hey. What are you doing? Hiding. Hiding from who? Quiet! I'm I'm hiding. From her. That's Lucille. The niece of Miss Oliver's. What a pretty little flower. We played a lot when we were toddlers. But I don't think it's okay to play with her anymore. But why? Well, I'm getting too old to play with a ten-year-old. Justin... You've just been 12? You've just been 12. Okay. Justin, where are you? Don't you want to play with me? Knock. Ah. Lucille, are you okay? Sob, sob. Did you hurt your knee? Let me see. It's okay. You just scraped your knee. Let's take care of that quickly. What what are you well, you hurt your leg, so it's better you don't walk. Let's go, of course. Are you sure you can carry me? Is this anything puff of hard? Here you go. This is anything but hard. Well, here you go. You'll get better sooner or later. Thanks, Justin. I've also got something for you. Oh, flower crown, gee Lucy, that's that smooch. Will you play with me next time? Sure. Why not? And Bull the Woods, 13th floor elevators. Here, let's read this really quick. Let's, let's get in here. All right, here we go. The Psychedelic Sounds is the start of an acid trip by Easter Everywhere. It's the peak of a trip. Then you can call the Bull of the wo Woods the come down of the 13th floor elevators. With Rokey Erickson, too unstable, and Tommy Hall, too tired to work on much of their final album, it was up to the third core member of the Elevators, guitarist Stacy Sutherland, to take charge. And it's noticeable. The Bull of the Woods is much moodier, much more down-to-earth than the previous two albums. Stacy's fuzzy and a reverb-trenched guitar play on this album is probably the biggest plus over the other albums. The sad thing about the album is that it's very crappily recorded. Their label needed to put this out ASAP, as the Texas Rangers would soon be bailing on their door at any minute. Okay, cool. Bull of the Woods may not be acclaimed or praised as the psychedelic sounds of Easter Everywhere, but it's still a good psychedelic album worth listening to. May Stacy and Ro Rokey rest in peace. Okay, 13th floor elevators fall of the woods. Here, let's go look that up real quick on our show. And if there's more commercials, um, they will owe me money, which is good. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Not really, but... Here we go, um... Bowl of the Woods, 13th floor. Ah. There you go. Let's 
listen to one song while we uh, read the comic. No, the the PlayStation camera records. It hears me freaking breathing. It's so goddamn annoying. It's so sensitive. All right. Episode 6, Silent Night, Floral Night. Rooted together, issue 6. Silent Night, Floral Night. And so, yeah, there's this... Colors don't come in so great, but white and black does. Okay, so you can't see it, but like there's some sort of teapot pouring into um, a woman's mouth, it looks like, but it's not coming up on the screen here. And yeah, here, th this is the character that's drinking this liquid. It, it just looks like there's an oil spout and a wrench. It looks like someone's changing the oil in their car. Okay. Oh, here we go. We got some dialogue. I was kind of... There we go. Finally. Have you slept well, my princess? Save the formalities, my lord. I see. Dinner is served. Slam. Snap. All right, that was a great song. Thank you for uh, playing on Admiral Pizza Live. Let's give a shout out. <laughs> to 13th floor. Elevators. Bowl of the Woods. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. Ow, all right. Oh, here we go. And there's not much dialogue going on. Here we go. It says, I never expected that much compassion from you, princess. Oh, here we go. This panel looks really great. We can hardly see it. Kind of. We'll have to figure out how to do better imaging, especially with color. Here we go. I love a challenge. Like that one time that girl put a restraining order on me. She was playing hard to get. And I love a challenge. All right. Ah. What's going on, Grandpa? I had a bad dream. Yeah, we noticed. Artist page. Okay, we've got our characters here. They're looking adorable. Oh, and she looks like she has like a little Yoshi ache. Yoshi! All right, super cool. Let's like that. All right, next. Episode seven here. Let's slightly adjust the camera here if we can. Looks like we've got another comment here. Let's take a little comment break. 
Here we go. Episode heaven. Episode seven. Holiday in the snow. I free the whoever just posted a comment here. It says, "Why are they watching him sleep?" Huh. That's. Uh -huh. My wife likes to watch me sleep. She's weird. And she thinks I don't notice, too. And then here's a weird part. And then she tries to take pictures of me sleeping because she thinks it's adorable. So, yeah. Okay. Do Does everyone do that to their... Do you do that to your partner? Post, it, post that in comments. All right. Here we go. Holiday in the Snow. Rooted Together. Issue 7. July 2nd, 2021. Justin, unless you do, unless you do want a cold chocolate, get over here. Oh, I'm coming. And he's all like, sippy sippy his coffee coffee. And then there's a plan. Okay, someone left a comment. I'm very excited to see who left a comment. But let's continue the story here. Okay, so he's taking his hot chalky. Another snowfall. Another cold winter. Well, at least we're not alone. Good night, Zombum. Hey, Bill! Ah! Mortal! For what did you disturb me? Want some hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? Yes, it will definitely warm you up during the cold days. We have more inside the house, if you want. Hmm. I see what this is. Darling, would you be so kind to take the, the dog out? Okay, alright. She wants to talk. She wants to be. Lady, you can be on my show next episode, okay? Alright. Lady's my dog, by the way. Alright. Yes, yeah, so definitely warm you up during the cold days. We have more inside the house, if you want. Hmm, I see what this is. You look down on me, having pity on me, huh? Don't think you can insult my pride, mortal. I don't... Oh, okay, you're lost. Grandpa says, if they say no, just go. No, wait, mortal, come back! Oh, Sambum, before the chocolate gets cold. Not bad, dare I say. Hey, Vivian. You can always stay here, you know. It would be cruel to let you sleep outside um, with that weather. I'll just take your offer and consider. Just say yes, you pompous bank banquet. Yes, thank you for the offer. That's great, Vivian. End of season one. Artist note. Hey, if you actually got this far into the comic, which we have, yeah. Okay. I want to thank you for reading the first season of Rooted Together. I hope you've enjoyed it. Right now, the show will be going on a hiatus to prepare for season two. It will be much more grander and much more better. So there's a lot of work for me to do this month. Season two will premiere on July 30th, 2021. So cross that on your calendar. For now, I will drop some concept art and rejected sketches from season one. Till then, kind regards, Mr. Vandren. Okay, excellent. So here, let's go read some of these comments people are, are posting. There we go. It's like, yes, but if you're sleeping, you... Oh, here we go, here we go. Implying I have a partner. Here we go. But you are sleeping. You, if you notice, then she's just taking a picture of you awake. You, and then you're lying down. Yes, I know, because it's like she... I sense it. Like, I don't know, like a Spider-Man sense? Is this... Yaka... <laughs> Yaka, who, who is this? Yaka Shuna, Yaka Shuna, who, no, who? Is this, did I make an anime reference? I, if I made an anime reference to something that obscured I don't understand, then, um, then I did. Mm. Oh, what time is it? 8.04. 8.04, here. Um, let's read for another, um, let's just keep reading. Here we go. Special, concept art and sketches. One, 
Part 1. Vivian, the flower girl. Vivian's predecessors. Oh, those, those look nice. Roselia. The earliest and first design of Flower Girl. I made her as a 14-year-old teenager back in 2013. She was the physical embodiment of the goddess of nature for a monster hunter-based idea I had back then. Roselia was nothing more but a grump who looked down on others, but reluctantly did her duties as a goddess. Some elements of her design are seen in one of the many of Vivian's forms. The Allure of Verdun. Uh, oh, excuse me. All right. Here we go. An idea from back in 2015. The Alandrune of Verdun is a monster from the 1920s who is a part of a gang serving a vampire. Watered by the blood of fallen soldiers, this Venus weed would ravage the area and those who came close. Eventually, the heroic protagonist would come and tame her. This is the first time I used the forkload of Alarun. I never went further with the concept, but still love the design a lot. Floridan. Floridan is an interesting character that I always loved drawing as a teen. She was part of a superhero idea I had. Florian was once Colleen Morrison, a woman obsessed with flowers and nature. One day she got possessed by the spirit of nature to become her physical vessel. She now only has one goal. Curing the earth of its worst disease, humanity. It's, it looks like a mix of like Sailor Moon and Poison Ivy, I'd say. So, uh, compared to others, Florian has changed quite in her design throughout the years. Her inception in 2014 seemed to be heavily influenced by another flower girl I made, Roselia. By 2017, her design was got her own, more slick look that I thought would fit a super villainous back then. 2018 design was a design for a prequel idea. Okay, you know this guy, you know, that reminds me of is a uh, uh, robot master. Oh, you can't you can't even see it on the screen. Oh, because it's all gray. But that is really good. I like this. I it looks good to me, but you can't see it. So sucks to be you. Okay. There's some character more designs. All right. Rachel the witch. I, I'm just going to read and just skim through all this. Floris. So characters. Floris, Vivian. Okay, very nice. Concept art sketches too. You know, what? I think we'll just go through uh, um, this concept art and we'll call it a night here because I'm getting uh, a little tired. Here. And then we might even take a break, and me and Mrs. Um, Pizza will do some Fortnite streaming. We'll kill some noobs. We promised to do that last night, but um, then that was discovered when um, you can only have so many few. Uh, streams recorded before they start deleting each other so then I was like oh crap I better save this stream so immediately after the stream is over we will uh, save it and put up on YouTube for future generations to admire and record okay because I think we got some fantastic footage this episode five days left until the premiere of season two <laughs> we got a little animation there Okay, all right. So there is Mr. Vandren's Rooted Together, Season 1, which we just read in its entirety. And I think it was fantastic. Um, very loose lines. Reminds me a lot of uh, Bruce Tim. And I like a lot of the plant references. Um, 
Yeah, and then um, towards the end, you're going to see a little concept of characters that I'm very excited to see in the future. So, um, great comic, and I will post a link in the comment bottom, uh, or a link in the YouTube video, and you can read this wonderful comic. So, uh, thank you for joining us all tonight, and uh, appreciate you all joining me on Animal Pizza Live. Thank you all, and you all have a wonderful night. Stay safe. And don't let your pizza dreams be dreams. All right, here, um, I'll read the last comment um, before we call it a night, actually. This is good reading. You're getting into the groove of it. Why, thank you, thank you, yes. No, um, this is easily like my 50th um, broadcast or something. But, yeah, no, um... The first thing you're going to do is not going to be the best, the second, or the third, or the fifth, but you just keep doing it. Eventually, you'll get the groove of it, because um, it took us a long time to get here. And I want to appreciate you, the audience, and everyone watching who made Admiral Pizza a thing today. And remember, at Admiral Pizza Live, you are the star. So. Hold on here.